Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome, and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's as simple as tapping that red subscribe button, making sure to select all to receive all of my future postings after you have tapped the notification bell. So today we are going to be decorating in my living room right here in the corner and I realized I left out a couple video clips so I'm just going to quickly cover what is in place so far and I have actually shared these items in a previous decor haul video. So I started off by placing a red tartan table runner from Pier 1 then I placed on two concrete um, I get candle stands and then on top of that those I placed in this chippy goodness um, a highly decorative drawer that was purchased from Maryfield Gardens as well now I am really gonna enjoy I'm gonna keep it this way for quite some time going through a, a few seasons but this drawer can also go up on a wall as well for decorating but we're going to use it this way for now. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? So as you can see, I have a few risers inside the drawer and that is because I really want to lift my items up um, so that they can be seen just a little bit better. And I'm going to start things off with this sweet little pine tree inside a willow basket and it was purchased from Bed Bath and Beyond last year. I'm not sure if they still have them this year. So the one to the left is taller than the one to the right and I have two um, shorter and then one taller that I will be working with today. And look who's showing up on the scene! That's right, our very own sweet Betsy. Now for those of you that are new to my channel, Betsy and her partner, Ivan, they love to show up during the seasons for some fun decorating with all of us. You can find yourself possibly a Betsy and an Ivan um, by Googling vintage um, wooden ducks. Um, they can be found on eBay, Etsy, Facebook Marketplace. Um, they're kind of becoming a little bit more difficult to find, but they are vintage wooden ducks. So here they are placed and Ivan has a fancy bow on. He tried to get Betsy to wear one, but um, it's too hot for her. Betsy's, she, she's going through menopause, guys. <laughs> so she's a little bit warm. She doesn't want anything around her neck right now. <laughs> Next up, we have this golden pear candle stand. <laughs> Now the candle stand was actually purchased from Facebook Marketplace. And the reason why I decided to add it is because as you can see, there's four items and we need a fifth because I like to place things in odds. So I just kind of snuck the pear candle stand in there and pulled it back out because I realized I needed to explain that to you all. But they're perfectly aged. I, the perfect golden color. And we're going to have fun decorating with this piece this year. I just tucked it in right back behind Betsy. And I like how the gold pulls from the ribbon and it, it brightens things up a bit inside of the drawer. It works well with the tree over to the left. And now I want to add in some pine with some red berries and pine cones. Because after all, on the forest floor, there is always pine cones and pines and berries. 
So I just placed them all about at the foot of the trees and underneath Betsy and Ivan and around the candle stand. And it just offered a nice, um, a nice bit of warmth into the drawer. But now it's time to bring in the naturals, the moss, of course. Work those naturals in with those for the faux uh, floral. So I just placed in the moss here and there. Um, again, I like to let my moss go wild, not just in a little bunch, because then it doesn't look natural. And in nature, um, things don't really have a form. <laughs> they just like to go wild. I'm going to add in some Northern Light taper candles. Now, I, I believe I have shared this before, but I used to sell Northern Light candles, and it was so much fun. Um, I met so many different wonderful people along the way, and I also received a fabulous discount for being a demonstrator. And I also used to sell the home interiors and gifts and the home and garden party, and. I've just always loved to um, decorate and meet new individuals. So yeah, just a little backstory there. <laughs> now down here, um, these are several different items that I believe um, I'm going to be using in throughout the arrangement, dried oranges and some stars different um, Christmas ornaments. I love the clip-on um, candles. Now, many of these were purchased from the flower gallery. And as you can see, I clipped on the candles and placed bulbs in the trees. And making sure to balance out the reds with the greens. I added in some more naturals, the dried oranges, and um, it just really helps bring everything to life. And I wrapped the star garland all around the outside of the drawer and also at the foot of the trees and Betsy and Ivan, because there's nothing more magical than being able to have stars down by your feet as you walk through the forest. So our taper candles are in. We have everything nicely working with one another. We even have a playful tree frog right there to the left that was purchased from Mackenzie Childs. It is a napkin ring. I have four of them. And now we're going to work down below underneath the drawer and we're gonna keep things um, much, uh, we're, we're gonna pull it back a little bit since we have so much uh, decorating going on up here, so much uh, color and and pine greenery. We're just gonna, again, just really keep things um, much more simple down below. <laughs> and I'm gonna start off by adding in five of my um, books that have wonderful stories inside them. These came from California and it's perfect that they are perfect because the it, they have that old um the old world like brick red color to them which works perfectly for christmas and i'm going to use one of my bookends this was purchased from mulberry lane in modesto california i'm not sure if they have any more left but i do know um they offer shipping So it wouldn't hurt to go see if they had any more of the chippy goodness in the bookends. And then to the left, I added another pine tree with a simple green sash. And then uh, 
a battery operated candle with a sconce. And a sign that was purchased from Hobby Lobby a few years ago, O Come All Ye Faithful. The greens, I thought would, it would be nice to use the green to pull back a little bit from so much of the red on the table. But remember, I said that it is a starry night in the forest. Oh! Uh -huh.